So what's going on toxic gamers and Call of Duty refugees and man oh man we got another drama in Call of Duty but guys I'm not gonna lie I saw it live it happened live I saw it live and honestly I cannot believe it thank you all for all the likes and subscribing to the channel I appreciate all of you guys thank you all for that let's go for 500 likes on the video but I cannot even lie man I saw the Jake Paul versus Logan Paul uh, Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson match live and the comments that I'm seeing people drop, it's like the Mike Tyson they gave us tonight. Bro, BBC offline, this and that. Like, the, the comments that I'm seeing online, absolutely hilarious, but sad as well. I mean, jokes aside, Mike Tyson will always be a legend. He's a living legend. Shout out to Mike Tyson, man. So, yeah, knowing all that, I'll, let's actually check out what the homie Blame Truth is mad about. Let's actually watch some Call of Duty hate videos. I need to cope with this. The one. first bit of good news is they allow double XP tokens to carry over from previous Call of Duties. Why is this yeah. not a thing that happens automatically at the launch of the game? I don't know. Better late than never, though. So, good job, Treyarch. Good, good job. job. Seriously, this, that's great. No. Well, it looks like I was wrong, huh? It looks like I made an oopsie. <laughs> I gave these guys praise. The day after the new update, and of course, they walk back the one thing I praised them on. The one thing I praised them on with this season. They yeah. have walked it back and have taken away the XP tokens no. that carried over from previous cons. This was an accident. They'll patch this shit in a day. Anything that makes your experience too fun, oh, they're patching the absolute fuck out of that. Yeah. But not and on the other hand, these seconds are like, hey, we're always going to keep the friendly. They will never patch that. They will never patch that, but they will patch what people are finding fun, man. I, hey, man, listen. I just saw Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson live, okay? I saw that match live. I'm not in the mood today. I'm not in the mood today, bro. I'm not in the mood today. I'm not in the mood. Uh, just today. that. They managed to mess this up. They're so incompetent. I cannot believe how incompetent these, these people are at Activision Blizzard and all the dev teams. I'm sorry. Maybe you're a talented uh -huh. individual working there. I need to just expose this, though. This, this is so incompetent, it's laughable. Not only did they walk back the XP tokens, they took those away. They took away the XP tokens that you've earned legitimately in Black Ops 6 in the Battle Pass. I'm not making that up. Really hope the community gives them huge backlash for this because it's scummy AF. Some even lost their Battle Pass. <laughs> Battle Pass XP token! They clearly showed they can add legacy tokens effing pissed right now. Oh my goodness, man. What is what is going on with Call of Duty, bruh? What the hell? Alright, let's get back to the content here, boo. They have taken it back. <laughs> but here's the thing. You can just go into Warzone and I think even zombies and activate these tokens. They didn't even take them away right! They're so bad at their fucking jobs! They can't even fuck us over right! I'm about to lose my mind! How are these people employed? Uh, these people are making six figures to make text Damn. that I can't fucking read and take away my XP tokens, but they can't even do- I mean, he ain't even lying, like, at level what? Like, what does this- does, does, uh... <laughs> Yo, it's hilarious because recently the homie Nero Shenma, Nero Shenma, Nero Shenma came out and he said that Activision reached out to, to him. Yeah, so Activision reached out to Nero Cinema, and in the past they have tried to bribe him with Call of Duty points. They were like, oh, okay, we're gonna give you Call of Duty points so you can, like, go ahead and, you know, buy buy a battle pass. You think the homie Nero cannot afford, like, $10? You suck as crazy! Give him a million dollars! Give him a million- give him- give me a million dollars! Give every- all of us watching that would- give everybody that's gonna smash the like button a million dollars. Like the video if you agree. Like the video if you deserve it, man! I think you deserve it. I deserve it. You deserve it. We all deserve it, man. Damn! So, yeah, he was talking about they uh, they reached out to him, and in the past, they also reached out. And when they tried to reach out to Nero Senma, in the past, they tried to give him, not give, bribe him with Call of Duty points. And Call of Duty, Call of Duty was like, hey, we're gonna actually, you know what, buy you a battle pass. It's $10, man. Like, give, like, come on, man. Like, get him something else, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's not trying to... The, the good thing about the homie Nero is that he's not trying to be put himself on the Diddy list, though. So that that's, like, the big thing about Nero here. Do that right! This Season 1 update for Black Ops 6, just Black Ops 6, has been a disaster. They've broken mm. tons of things in the actual multiplayer component. Mm. No ETA on when those are going to get fixed, if they are going to get fixed before the holidays, even. And they gave us three new crappy fucking maps. Three new crappy fucking maps that don't do anything to change the actual experience. And they took away playlists that the community liked, like 10v10, like Stakeout 24-7, like Nuketown 24-7. Overall, it's been a colossal goat fuck! But that's not all. 
They've also messed up Warzone. Now, I'm not a Warzone mm. channel, as you guys know. I'd rather teabag a live bear trap than play Call of Duty Warzone. However, I, I really think we need to talk about what they have actually done with Warzone. I'm going to plug today's sponsor here. You're going to want to watch ah! this. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa. Tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo, tranquilo, man. Here. But Jane. let's let's actually cover what they have done to Warzone. I uh -huh. don't see how you people that play Warzone do it. I, I really don't. I have heard nothing but inconsistent, just garbage from Warzone since Modern Warfare 2 the OG came out. And I've, I've heard nothing but people complaining. I've heard nothing but people bitching and, and, and bringing up valid points. You know Modern Warfare, tw uh, Modern Warfare 2022 OG? Introduce, you remember that? Like, <laughs> That's what it introduced, uh, man. I, I just wish, I just wish, like, BBC was online today, so we could have seen Mike Tyson win, but I guess it had to stay offline. Man, I just finished watching live, guys. It's currently, like, 1 in the morning for me, East Coast, so I just finished watching the Mike Tyson live while I'm filming this video. I can't. <laughs> I can't, man, I can't. Mike will always be the legend, man, you feel what I'm saying? That's my way of coping, but he is a legend. He is a legend, so it's not even like me coping, but we're watching like hate Call of Duty videos right now Because uh, uh, that's the way to cope I guess right, but it's 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 insane man Like they this screwed up the double uh, the double XP in Call of Duty something that is just so like Normal it's like a normal thing because we have been getting double XP for like for how long for how many years Call of Duty has been getting double XP and this screw that? Oh hell, man! Oh, From what hell I can no. see about why this game sucks, and yet it's still a, a big hit. It's it's mind blowing how much they can fuck up, how incompetent they can be, and people still play it. We're gonna mm. cover that later after I cover everything they've done wrong. I just oh. got through. Oh, so we got a sequel confirmed? No, no way. <gasps> say yet it ain't so. Say psych right now. Say psych, bro. Say Watching psych. Watching Tactical Brits video about this Warzone integration and why it feels so bad. And from yeah. what I am gathering, from what I'm gathering, I'm going to show yeah. you some stuff from Reddit to really hammer home this point here in just a second. But from what I understand, they've been fixing incrementally Warzone this past like year or two or so. Raven and Sledgehammer both. They've been updating Warzone, providing hot fixes, providing quality of life updates. And yet with this Black Ops 6 Warzone integration, whoever was in charge of it didn't yeah. account for those quality of life updates and those hot fixes and those things that make the game actually feel good. So, they've been working with that, and I, I guess they're just gonna piece them in as we go? I, I don't know, but essentially, we've taken one step forward, ten steps back, yet again. Love From it, what I'm seeing, this is Warzone 2 all over again. A complete mm. disaster. Everything from the audio to the mouth. Uh, what Warzone are we supposed to on? Is it like Warzone three or four uh, this year? I think it's Warzone three, right? Could be wrong. Could be wrong. I I, 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 I lost count, bro. Right? I lost count. Else input to the character scaling, to mantling, to clunkiness is all messed up. It, it's sort of like they took a, a beta build of Black Ops Six and built on that because people are saying that the movement feels like complete. Dick! <laughs> and I'm sorry. Listen, I know I'm a COD YouTuber. I know I'm the COD father. Yeah, I'm sorry too, man. I'm sorry too, man. Sick as we always apologizing, though. I'm sorry, man. No diddy. No diddy. No diddy. But to be fair, though, you have to agree that it's better than Concord and Dustmourne. At least, right? At least it's better than Concord and Dustmourne. At least. At the very least. Now, tell me... When I'm telling lies, I'm gonna use the homies blame trust language here. But to be fair though, it, it is better than even even X Defiant. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna glaze, man. He's always glazing X Defiant. Now let's be real. Okay, let's settle this really quickly. Okay, we gotta have an emergency meeting real quick. Emergency meeting, guys. Emergency meeting. One in the comments if you think Black Ops Six is better than X Defiant. Two in the comments if you think. X Define is better than Black Ops 6. And be honest, be honest, this time, even if you hate Call of Duty Black Ops 6, be be real, okay? Be real about it. I, I get it. If you hate Black Ops 6, you automatically want to give it to X Define. But even if you hate Black Ops 6, do you think it's worse than X Define? Yeah, uh, I, I, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. I want to see like where you guys are, are, are at with it. I'm not downloading 300 gigabytes of this crap to play it and see how bad it is. I hate Battle Royale when it's good. If I played this, I'm liable to call the suicide hotline. I'm not doing it. 
I'm not doing it. So let's check out Reddit. These people have kind of done my job for me. Let, let's just cover what to this Reddit. trillion dollar company Shout out has to the done. Heroes. One of the top posts on the subreddit is just this. Worst footstep audio in the history of Warzone. Changed my mind. The classic meme. Yeah. And we're going to come back to this. We're going to circle back to this by the end of this video. You're not going to believe what I've found. Oh my god. Let's continue though. This is one of the many threads on the subreddit here. One of the worst integration updates we have ever had. BO6 and MW3 guns feel like MW2 guns now because they nerfed attachments that helped with visual recoil. Omni movement feels clunky as hell. Mantling is slow as hell. There's new annoying ping audio or something and just other random shit that we cannot turn off. Literally no footsteps audio. Minus 100 FPS. The performance. If we go back to the minus whole what? idea of like them just kind of what? making this without the hotfixes and updates what? and quality of life improvements. Yeah, something has tanked the performance. Say Absolutely sight. tanked it to embarrassing levels. Say Let's sight. just read the string of comments here. This is the whole server, by the way. I'm not cherry picking any of this. Anybody else feel like their aim is off on MK? To start off, I've always played on MK. I think it's more satisfying to use. It just feels right for me ever since the new Warzone dropped. I've been toxic gamers finding it way harder than normal to hit shots. I am missing a crazy amount of shots on people. Now, I am not an aim god, but I can usually hit almost all my shots. Right now, I am finding it incredibly hard to track people moving even the slightest bit. And in multiplayer and in previous war zones, I never really had this issue. Anyone else experiencing this? This is one of those years where they overall everything, breaking what worked, only to fix it again next year. Buckle up, everyone. Mm. It's shaping up to be a rough year, but don't stress too mm. much. Next year's COD will likely sort of fix the gameplay mechanics only for the following one to break it all over again. It's a never-ending cycle. Warzone 1 nailed too many things from the start. Downing Yeah, because after all, next year, we're getting another Call of Duty game, right? So it's going to be the Black Ops to remake next year yeah man if you don't like it this year well <laughs> we got another one next year guys the player came with a clear yellow text down to notification and a distinct audio cue contracts were intuitive with elevation indicators showing if tablets were above or below you thanks to guiding arrows these small but crucial features made the game feel seamless yet somehow never returned in later versions we love warzone for what it was just give us that again stop the pattern of and keeps going on and on but i'm gonna go to the next one this is by far the worst update in god history so basically i lost 50 percent of my frames in one update because the game now is so heavily cpu bottlenecked i used to get 120 to 130 fps on the same settings and my gpu was my limiting factor oh, when it comes to frames but now my gpu is just waiting for frames to show and now yeah. the game is an eye piercing slideshow and, and here i'm like happy if a game is 60 fps <laughs> <laughs> and sitting here i'm just happy if a game it's 60 fps oh man and, and i'm like hoping that gts 6 is like 1080 60 fps at the very least right that's like the dream right now man that's a dream right now brother out here but he he was saying he was okay keyword is was whoa the keyword is was he was getting 120 to 130 fps and now apparently he's not so that, that's sad. That is sad. Hashtag Show. sad. The game runs like shit on Xbox now, so it's also on Hashtag console. Sad. I can't believe that Urzikstan looks way worse graphically now. It's blurry and pixelated. It just feels off. On Area 99, the gas makes the FPS drop. Random spots have massive FPS drops. When someone gets up close to you, the FPS drops. It runs awful. The dust is also extremely pixelated. I'm on Xbox Series X. This is insane. Here's another thread talking about issues. It's time to call it a day. Honestly, this is by far one of the worst integrations we have had. Hit registration is awful on BO6 guns. Omni movement feels terrible in Warzone versus BO6. Movement in general is clunky. The new plating mechanic is utterly <laughs> awful. Can't replay half the time and the animation is slow. Footsteps are trash. Remove Damn. it from the game entirely if you are unable to do it correctly. Wait a minute. Mm. Uh, I said I'd come back to footsteps, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. So apparently the footstep audio is completely broken in Warzone. But someone actually screenshotted this for me and sent it to me on Twitter. And you're not going to believe it. Let's right. just get into it. How did All absolutely right. nobody oh. point out during playtesting that footsteps literally do not exist? Apparently they do exist with that paid audio profile. Oh. Says Charlie Intel. I'm gonna set it up right now and let you guys know if this is true. You spend that money for us, thanks. Yo, that, that was a hilarious when they did that. We had a video as well, video or two on that situation when we first heard. It was right before Black Ops 6 came out, just like a couple of eels, a couple of weeks old. I believe two, three weeks old at this point, or four weeks max. Um, apparently they do exist with that paid audio profile lol. Bumbo Club Bumbo Uh essentially you gotta pay a subscription to unlock enhanced audio profile in the game. No, I'm not even joking with you guys. I believe it's twenty dollars for five years. But the uh, it's not too much money for five years, but the idea behind it is like, I mean, come on now, right? Like, you're buying a fully priced game, okay? You're buying a fully priced game, and then you gotta pay $20 every five years. The money is not the issue here, right? Guys, like, come on. It's the principle. It's the principle. Uh, and, and apparently the audio of the game, people are saying it's not that good. Now, I, whenever I play, I said it before, whenever I play Call of Duty, I play it without sound. So to me, it don't even matter. Uh, I'm not playing Call of Duty 
to prove something or to try hard. I'm just like simply catching up on my YouTube videos, man, listening to podcasts. And just playing in the background, man. You know, I'm not trying to prove anybody. I'm not trying to. I'm not, I'm not trying to claim that I'm the best player or the worst player. I'm just simply trying to like catch up on my podcast and uh, you know at the same time play because I feel like that if I if I just listen to podcasts, I recline my chair and over time I just fall asleep. You know, so if there's a podcast uh, and, and I want the information from it, I just put it at 1.5 speed two times and play the game at the same time and i love it bro it's like really like stimulating i love it but i think it's also bad i think it's also bad to do that so i gotta moderate it for sure but it, uh, but i can focus i can focus at things uh, that i love for sure for sure but it's just the things uh, that i don't like where i just fall asleep but yeah it'd be what it'd be man it'd be what it'd be use the free trial but setting this up required me to do a face and ear scan but i'll report back in a few minutes we got to talk about why this shit actually works <laughs> oh yeah it was twenty dollars bumbo clap brother bumbo buddy boy fop pom pom to the bumbo clap brothers create your personalized p profile in enhanced headphones mode configuration try it for free for 30 days they have the audacity these seconds have the audacity to say try it free for 30 days then unlock yeah then unlock try for free then unlock by clicking the get immersed game pack they know people are so like retard that retarded that they they have to say this then unlock by clicking the get immersed game pack so they're yeah they're trying their best with a one-time payment. Oh my bad, guys. It's one time actually. Bruh. What? What? Oh, yeah. oh, I thought it was like twenty dollars for five years. Okay, how nice of them. Okay, with a one-time payment of nineteen ninety-nine USD. Oh wow, one penny less than twenty. One penny less than twenty. One penny less than twenty. Damn, that rhymes. That rhymes. Right? Like the video for that. The pay-to-win audio one profile that I made a video on. Twenty. Yeah. Huh? You can go into the settings, spend 20 extra dollars for better audio, and get it in Warzone now. I seriously have never seen so much money in a company this incompetent. Bruh. The fans of Call of Duty and Warzone both need to be studied in a lab. They have to have IQs in the double digits. There's no way they're, they're reaching 100. <laughs> There's no fucking way. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, I'm not trying no to way. insult you if you play these games and enjoy them. Maybe you're just on drugs. Maybe you're high. Maybe you're actually an addict. You don't actually enjoy the game. You're just addicted, <laughs> you know? There's a lot of people that are addicted to meth. Maybe they don't want to be. I imagine most people don't want to be, but they are. Maybe you're just really bad and the matchmaking coddles you and makes you think you're optic scump after three Red Bulls. I, I don't know. All I know is this. The Call of Duty community needs to be studied because they're fucking retarded. Just play us out here. I, I think I'm just gonna be playing zombies the rest of the year. I, I really do. Zombies is good. I I've been enjoying my time on it. A little repetitive, but overall, I think it's nice. Terminus is a nice map. I'll be looking forward to the new map. But, um... Zombies is enough to carry this whole franchise, especially considering we get a like we get an actual proper zombies mode once every three years. Mm. Like, oh my god! Or four years this time. Four years this time. Dude, this is a trillion dollar company. Yeah. Trillion with a T, guys. Crazy. T as in tits. T as. Oh uh, yeah, he's talking about Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft purchased, so now they're a trillion dollar company. That's true. That's facts. That's facts. In tank. T as in tart. T as in tetragrammaton. Trillion dollars. And they continue to release Chill. this frat boy beta male fucking half-assed shit and people continue Tra to eat it up well, like I, I seriously ah. want to know how do i do something this poorly ah, and continue to make money this will be like me as a commentator having audio that randomly changed from me talking to ron jeremy farting in the fucking tranquilo it's like me saying right yeah guys pay 20 dollars and then you will get the unreworked version no nah, man, I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you for free, guys. <laughs> like the video for that, guys. Like the video for that. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to to you guys for free. Yeah, I'm not gonna charge money for like clean audio, bro. What you you think I'm stupid? You crazy? You loco? Nah, man. Tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo. Mike, at random intervals. Or maybe it just goes pure static for like two minutes. Or maybe the gameplay just changes to Mandingo's giant flaccid penis. Like, who is in charge? Is there anyone in charge of this? 
Like, there's too many cooks in the kitchen. There's too much going on. We're hiring too many people that don't know what they're doing. We have no mm. direction. There's mm. no structure. I don't know what is happening, but this mm. is embarrassing. Between the Black mm. Ops 6 Season 1 update, breaking stuff, taking away double XP tokens, even the ones earned in the Battle Pass, to Warzone getting butchered again, how many times do they have to do this before you guys realize I'm not up here saying this stuff just to hear myself fucking talk? Can we all get on the same page for once? Mm. Please. It's embarrassing. I'm, I'm out of time. I hope guys check out this video on the screen because recently Nick Merex, Dr. Disrespect Swag and Tim the Tatman are all in the news and we had a massive explosive that just went down check out this video on the screen and I'll see you right there man Mike Tyson lost it and uh, kind of sad about that bro